Wrong one. Wrong one. I, I know, I'm sorry. I'm not really familiar with this side of town. Okay, my name is Austin Eck. I'm with the UWR Trash Police Department. Yeah. My license. All right, awesome. Do you know why I stopped you? Yeah, I'm going down the wrong way on the runway. Yeah, and I realized and I was going to turn into that parking lot. I'm not familiar with this okay. time of town. I'm sorry. Okay, and then additionally, you did run that flashing red light right there. Oh, I thought it was yellow. No, red. I'm sorry. No problem. Um, do you have your driver's license on you, man? Awesome, thank you. Where are you guys coming from tonight? We were just getting dinner and we just had some, it's my birthday today. Oh, well, happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, so where, where at? Um, we came downtown, we were just, we just left from Fletch's Bar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, nice. Uh, how much have we had to drink tonight? Honestly, I feel like I had been sober for at least two hours now. Okay. I wasn't driving. Okay, how many drinks have we had? Um, probably an hour ago, like two, three. Just two, three, okay. Yeah. Um, I've been out since like six, but like I stopped drinking right. for two hours or so. Okay. Alright, sounds good. And then where are you guys headed? Just home. Okay, where's home at? Here in Oshkosh. And then, so you said that you were started at 6 and you just stopped about two hours ago drinking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. If you had to estimate how many drinks you had, what would you say? Like before 12? Just in the whole, since since you've been drinking tonight? Honestly, like 4. Okay, 4. What were you drinking? Just like carpuses. Okay, carpuses. Are those like... Seltzer drinks. Okay, like the vodka seltzer things? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, sweet. Do me a favor. Just hang on the car, guys. I'll be back to you shortly. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, Officer Seltzer, UW Oshkosh Police Department. Hi. So he said that you guys were coming from the bar. You told him. Yes. What bar were you coming from? Um, but just, mm -hmm. just how much have you had to drink tonight? So it was. I started at six. I had like about four or five drinks, and then I stopped for like two hours just okay. to try to drive home. Okay. All right, so I'm going to actually have you step out of the car, and we're just going to see kind of where you're at, see sure. if you are able to drive. Okay, sure. Where do you want me to go? Um, if you just want to step out here, you can shut the car off. Okay. And then I'll have you step over to the sidewalk over here. You can just come around the back of the vehicle. Right here? Yep. Okay. All right, so you can stand facing me. Alright, so we're going to do a series of tests just to kind of see where you're at. You, how many drinks have you said? You said about like four. Yeah, like four, four or five, two hours ago. Okay, two hours ago was the last time? Yeah. Alright. Do you have any issues with your eyes at all? Any medical conditions? No. Alright, so the first test, can you see the tip of my pen here? Yep. Alright, what color is the tip of my pen? Black. Alright, what color is the base? Um, black. So I'm going to have you follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay. So if you could stand with your feet together and your arms down to your side. So feet together, heels to toes oh, touching, sorry, together. and then arms down to your side. Okay. And then just follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head, okay? Okay. Just keep following the tip of my pen, and then can you tilt your chin down just a little bit? Alright, you can relax. Alright, so the next test that we're going to do is going to be the walk and turn test. So again, if I could just have you stand with your feet together and your arms on your side. Can you imagine a straight line in front of you? Mm -hmm. All right. So when I tell you to do so, you're going to take a series of nine steps down that line, heel to toe steps, and then you're going to take a series of small steps, turn around, and take a series of nine steps back. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Okay. So when I t um, can I have you put your left foot on the line, that imaginary line, and then put your right foot in front of it, touching heel to toe, and then put your arms on your side. All right. So just stay in that position until I tell you to move. Oh, okay. So I'm going to demonstrate the test for you. So again, left foot on the line, right foot in front of it. And you're going to be taking a series of nine steps. I'm going to do three for demonstration purposes. Okay. It'll be one, two, three. Keep that foot planted, turn, and then one, two, three. So again, I only, I only did three. You're going to do nine. So while you're doing the test, remember, nine heel to toe steps. Turn around, look down at your feet, and count your steps out loud, and keep your arms on your side at the whole time. Okay. And do not stop until you complete the test, okay? Okay. All right, you can begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven,
one. Alright, so then the last test is going to be the one leg stand. So again, if you could stand with your feet together, arms down to your side, and stay in that position until I tell you to do otherwise, okay? Okay. Alright, so when I tell you to do so, you can pick whichever leg you would like. You're going to raise that foot approximately six inches off the ground, and then you're going to count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. So again, it's going to look like this. So you can pick whichever leg you want. Six inches off the ground, keep your toe pointing outward, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and keep going until I tell you to stop. So again, whichever leg you want, about six inches off the ground, keep your arms down to your side throughout the test, and look down at your foot and count out loud. Look down at my foot? Yep. Okay. All right, you may begin. 1,002, all right, you may stop. Right. So what we'll do, we'll just have you talk to this officer real quick. Um, she's one of our new officers in training, so I'm just going to talk to her real quick. That's fine. Come over here, Ailey. Hi. Hi. So, yeah, like you said, she's a new, new officer in training. Yeah, that's okay. Um, yeah, so that's kind of... And then with the things I witnessed when I pulled you over, sure. just the driving behavior, scrolling going the wrong way kind of thing. Yeah. Um, then additionally, you were slurring a little bit of a couple of your words, you slurred, and then sure. I did have a strong odor of intoxicants coming from the vehicle. Um, now, granted, you know, there's both of you in the car, so... Yeah. It, it, you know, he could be a little more tuned up than you, so... Yeah, that could have been is, yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. is that what you're driving then? Yeah, okay. I was just yeah. trying to be safe. No, yeah, definitely. Um, but so yeah, that's kind of why the reason that okay, these tests were conducted. Yeah, no yeah, our main goal is just to kind of make sure that you're okay to drive tonight. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's late at night, it's your birthday, so you know, you're having some drinks, so I get it if, if you're trying to celebrate tonight, but. Yeah, I get it. No, yeah. So I have everything in the eyes. Oh. Um, that was a beautiful example of yeah, what HGM yeah. looks like. And then one leg stand was pretty good. Yeah, um, one leg stand was solid. Yeah, her walk and turn, she started too soon. She was swaying a little bit. Um, and then she lifted her arms up. Um, what else? And her heel to toe wasn't really that great. They were kind of off to the side. Mm -hmm. um, and then she took too many steps on beautiful. the way down. Beautiful. So, so rest or not a rest? I would, yeah. Okay. Um, guessing your PBT is not fixed yet? Because Batman was on um, vacation? Yeah. I was gonna say I'll PVT then. Okay. And then and then we'll go forward from there. Oh, yeah. I guess she got the same I got the same story though that yet got. She hasn't Beautiful. drank in two hours. Say, she good said four, good job on the investigation. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Um so real quick uh, question for you. Sure, yeah. Um so just one more test, just to verify everything that we saw was related to the alcohol that you said you have and like you weren't like snorting or doing some ridiculous drugs sure. while at the bar, right? Yeah. Um, would you mind just doing a breath test? Sure. Um, perfect, sounds good. On a scale of 1 to 10, how intoxicated do you feel right now? Honestly, I wouldn't even know what a number would be. I mean, like I said, I had like, like four or five drinks two hours ago. Like, I drink some water. How about, and then... uh, so like 10 is like blackout, you're in the hospital drunk, and 1 is stone cold sober. Where, where do you kind of feel? Like a 2, 3? Like a 2 or 3? Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I always like asking because everyone's different. Sure. Okay, so this is a PBT. Um, okay. Basically, what you're gonna do is give yours, honey. Yeah. Sounds good. Mine apparently is dying, so. <laughs> so we'll, we'll use his. That's okay. Alrighty, yeah. So real simple. I, I was gonna say I can still do it oh, for you. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, sorry about that. Exact same PBT. Um, so basically what this is going to show is zeros. It sh shows that there's no alcohol in the system. I'm not trying to trick you or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Um, and then um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a deep breath in, wrap your lips around the straw, and blow into it like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? Okay, like so, forcefully? Yep. Yep, so deep breath in and blow. Blow, 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 blow. Harder, harder, harder. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect. You can take the, grab the end of the straw. Perfect. Do you know what the legal limit in is in Wisconsin? 0.8. 0.08? .08? Yeah. Um, so you're at a uh, 0.112. Okay. Then you, uh, you can take over them from here. 
So we are going to be placing you under arrest for OWI, just so you are aware. So okay. if I could have you turn around and put your hands behind your back, please. So how this works in Wisconsin is an OWI is just similar to kind of like a traffic ticket. Basically, as long as someone sober can come pick you up, we're going to go back to our police department, do some paperwork there, but then you'll be able to be released to that sober person. Okay. Um, are there any friends in Oshkosh who can come pick you up? Uh, I have to make a call. Yeah, you'll be able to back at the police department and everything. Uh, do you have your phone on you, or is it in the uh, car? It's in the car. Uh, we will certainly grab it then. Um, do you have any friends who could come move the vehicle at all? I would have to call. I mean, maybe my mom. Okay. Friends are probably sleeping. Yeah. I got you. I mean, well, uh, where do you? Oh, uh, where's your? Where does your mom live? Uh, in Oshkosh. In Oshkosh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that'll be perfect then. Um, okay. Um, do you know her number off the top of your head? Yep. Um, do you, um, I was gonna say we can have your friend here give them a, give her a call if you want. Or... Yep, that's fine. Okay. Um, sounds good. And then um, so yeah, we we should be able to get the car moved then uh, for you. Stay with her all the time. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so then basically what we'll do is we'll, we'll go back, we'll have to read you a form and everything like that. And we'll, um, no, no worries. I'm pretty sure they're biodegradable anyway. Um, but basically we'll go back, we'll go through a form, um, go through an additional test, and then um, just some additional paperwork and you'll be able to go home at the end of the night and everything like that. As long as someone can sober, can, can come pick you up. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. But I apologize. Hey, um, mistakes happen. Um, I think you can kind of see that this is probably a mistake now, mm -hmm. but... I mean, it's hard because it's like you chug water and it's like you're trying mm -hmm. to be safe and what, what are you going to do, you know? Oh, yeah, I got you. I mean, it, the, the nice thing is, though, it didn't end worse. You didn't get in a car wreck or no one crashed into you. Right, right, right. So that, that's at least a little bit better, but I realize it's kind of a glass half Happy mentality. Happy birthday! Yeah, <laughs> but... Um, is that boyfriend... Um, yes. brother, bro boyfriend. boyfriend, okay. What do you have? Your mother's number? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Sounds good. Honestly, can I, can you roll down his window? Can I just talk to him? Just call maybe my friend Ashley. She was out with us, like, way um, earlier. so they have to be ways, they have to be completely sober. Okay, I they were, it was like hours and hours ago, okay. like 12. I was going to say, I don't want Ashley to show up and also be drunk, because then that makes it a very awkward no, situation. No, it's not. No, it's okay. not. She was just the last person that I had talked to like hours, hours earlier. So, okay. I mean, if my mom doesn't answer. I was going to say, it looks like he's talking to her. So, that's at least good. But We can go back to this car over here. Okay. Um... Yeah, if you if you want to grab her phone, all of the other officers search you and everything like that. But um, but I figured we could just at least start walking back over here. In case yeah. someone comes out of the bar, so we don't cause a huge scene. Sure. But we can step back a little bit so we don't okay. get blinded by that light. Sure. I pulled up and I'm like, holy sh! <laughs> Couldn't see anything. UW at 25 UW. I'm not sure if you're going to want to swing over here, but just to give uh, 20, we want, uh, 26 some lights, uh, just because the vehicle is facing the wrong direction, and we'll be clearing out here shortly for uh, um, intox. So, so. Yep, I can take that. I was going to say, go ahead, you can do that. Alright, so I'm just going to search you before you we'll put you in the back of the car, sir. You don't have anything on you that's going to hurt me or poke me in any way, right? You can hold on to I'll stay opposite of you. And I got your ID here, and I got on um, your phone as well. Okay. I'm get you in the back of the squad. Okay. Right, so I'll have you turn around and sit down on the seat first. Oh, okay. If you can get up in there. There you go, and then you can just turn around. And then he's going to hop on that side, and we'll get you buckled real quick. Okay. Sorry, my wrists are, like, really intense. That's okay. It's just a short drive, so... Okay, cool. And the nice thing is, is once we get to the department, we can actually um, put the handcuffs in front of you. Okay, thank you. As long as you don't start like this fighting us, you Yeah, know, sorry, it just like really that. hurts. Oh, no, you're good, no worries. Um, if you sit at an angle... Did I not go in? No, it definitely did not. Oh, sorry. 
Um, if you sit at an angle, it'll make it a little bit better like for you. Like this way? Um, yeah, like, well, yeah, like once you turn your knees, if you turn them out a little bit, it'll help a little bit. Make it a little bit more slack. Okay, that's a little better. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Got it? This is a new problem. <laughs> I'll just move over, sorry. No. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just go away. Okay. There we go, there we go. Okay, step out this way, turn your feet around. Just watch your head. We're just gonna go in this building right here. Okay. So this is going to be your OWI's ticket. So all the information is on here. So it is a mandatory requirement to go to court for it. This is going to be your court date, September 19th. And it's going to be at 10.30 a.m. This is going to be the amount that's going to be due for that. Um, oh, so one thing to add to that is that 9.37.50, don't pay that right away because the, the court date is mandatory. You have to go. I, it is very rare to actually see that final amount get issued. Um, in all honesty, I've seen it change all the time. Um, so don't worry about the final or anything. The most important thing is just going to be go to that court date. It's mandatory. Okay. And then this just has all of your other information on here. This says the all the court's information. Um, and then the address is also up here as well. So if you have any questions or anything, this will give you steps on who to contact. About that. Any other questions right now? All right. So, um, so, there will, so you'll get your own stack of paperwork at the end of this and everything like that, as well as all the paperwork we're going to fill out here. It's a little bit lengthy just because of all the paperwork we have to go through, but... Do you remember what that number went? 0328? Uh, it is actually on here, right there. Oh, 0238. So do you think that the total will be, like, dropped significantly or no? I've seen the courts do a lot with it. I've seen it go up before. I don't want to make a promise to you because that's all up to the judge. Okay. So I'm going to read this to you. So this is the informing uh, the accused form. So... Under Wisconsin implied consent law, I am required to read this notice to you. You have either been arrested for an offense that involves driving or operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol or drugs or both. This law enforcement agency now wants to test one or more samples of your breath, blood, or urine to determine the concentration of alcohol or drugs in your system. If any test shows more alcohol in your system mm -hmm. than the law permits while driving, your operating privilege will be suspended. If you refuse to take any tests that this agency requests, your operating privilege will be revoked and you will be subject to other penalties. The test results or the fact that you, are refu that you refuse testing can be used against you in court. So will you submit to an ev evidentiary chemical test of your breath? So again, we'll do a breath test. Sure. So it's just gonna be with that machine. So. And then that's a yes or a no? Yes, okay. sorry. It's okay. So basically, this this dinosaur over here is actually just a fancy computer. Okay. I know it looks like it was made Angel. in 2002, mm -hmm. um, which it might have been. But that being said, <laughs> it's super fancy and the courts like it. So. Okay. So one thing I want to do is just do a little prep, uh, kind of like it's kind of, it's kind of some way to practice blow because this actually requires a long, steady breath. Okay. So kind of like you're trying to blow out all the candles on a birthday cake, okay. but it's on your 100th birthday. So there's a lot of candles. Uh, okay. So basically it's a nice like steady breath. like. So it's super picky, so blowing too hard will make it angry, and then blowing too soft will make it angry. So that's why it's good to have like a, just a steady breath. And then there'll be different lines, and I'll point them out to you as we go, what you want to fill up. Mm -hmm. But um, I was going to say, I'll actually have you stand up. Oh. 
because of how of how intense this actually is. Okay. Of the uh, or how intense this breath actually has to be. So it's a, it's a long breath. Just remember that aspect. Okay. Um. So right now it's just checking because it'll do a bunch of fancy checks, and, and I'll go over a bunch of numbers with you that'll print off and everything like that. Okay. So just take a deep breath in. Then wrap your lips around mm -hmm. the straw and blow. Harder, 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 keep going, harder, 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 harder. You wanna fill this up twice, keep going, harder, 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 keep going, 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 keep going. That breath. No, that's okay. That I think it worked. Okay. You might want to blow a little bit harder next time. Okay. We'll see if it liked it. Okay. Yeah, so that bottom line, you wanna fill up twice, essentially, is the goal. I think it liked it. It did like it. It's beautiful. So now it's gonna clear clear itself out. And yeah, it takes about three minutes, but it definitely sit back down because it'll take two tests, and then it'll take the lesser of the two tests. Okay. So this machine kind of helps, it lowers that amount and everything. Cool. But well, we'll see. Yeah, this is this is where it gets lengthy. It's just waiting for this whole whole process. I think we are just about up to our second round okay. and final round, as long okay. as it goes well. Okay. I might get mad, but okay. it'll it'll tell you one. And just remember, take that deep breath in and a long, steady breath, like you're blowing out a ton of candles. Okay, perfect. So deep breath in, away from the straw. Then wrap your lips around and blow. Blow, 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 blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Fill this up twice. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect. I am confident I'll like that one. Okay. That's how confident I am. I already took it off. Okay. Now I'm gonna be really sad if I'm wrong. It's gonna be like, nope. Just kidding. It's okay. Okay. Beautiful. So then, next one we'll go. Did it say no? No, it, it said yes. It oh. just has to print off the results. Oh, this sounds healthy. Mm -hmm. oh. How confident are you replicating citations? Good. Okay, so I'll... So, remember the BAC spot to put that in? Yeah. So you will want to do a PAC ticket for and have that be the amount? Mm -hmm. Same court date and everything? Mm -hmm. And then I'll go over this form with you as well. And you actually get your own copy. Um, so that was everything result. else. And then the other citation to issue would be the failure to obey a sign. And then it's up to you if you want to do the open and talks aspect. I can definitely stand by that decision. I'm just going to take this if that's okay. Yes, yeah. absolutely. You should just be able to replicate it from the OWI ticket. Um. So perfect, then we will go over this real quick. Okay. So basically, this is um, that ginormous computer okay. that, uh, that did this test. So, so then the next test is a subject, so this is your breath. So your breath came back at a 0.120. Um, legal limit is 0.080. Um, so that was your breath um, on the first test. Then uh, it's your breath again, which read uh, 0 0.116. And then the last test, um, or the next one is another blank check of zeros, and then a diagnostics test of um, passing again. So then what it does with the test is it takes your two results, and then it takes the lower one and completely eliminates that last number. So therefore, in this case, it, it will round down. So it rounds down to an average value or a reported value of uh, 0.11. Um, so it's just a uh, prohibited alcohol concentrate. Sure. Um, so I'm going to sign these forms, and then you actually get one of these with you. Alright, so these are just two more citations here. Um, one is going to be for failure to obey signs for driving the wrong way. So that's going to be this option. Um, it's not a mandatory appearance in court. Um, it's going to be the same court date as this if you do want to go and fight it at all. Otherwise, it's just going to be $175.30 will be due by this date and time. So instructions down here on how to pay that. Um, and then again, all the information for the court and everything is on here. Like I said, do not pay any of those fines until the or until after court. If you, if that's what you're choosing to do, because again, the court will change those fine amounts. They'll change a lot of different stuff. Um, so do not pay any of those fines. Go just your primary goal is go to that court date. It is mandatory. It is required. Um, can I do that for a sec? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that one. Um. 
But yeah, the important thing is go to that court date. Oh, I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, if you don't go, they can put a warrant up for your arrest. Okay. So, not that that should really influence it anymore, but yeah, it's mandatory. You have to go to it, so just be sure that you do go to it. Okay, alright. And then this one is going to be for the BAC. So, it's going to be for the alcohol that was in your system, so you were above the legal limit. So, this is just another citation for that. Um, again, your information is all on here. Same court date, same time and everything, and then, again, the amount. Any other questions at all that you got? Again, don't worry about the amount. Technically speaking, there's two citations there that both say $937 on it. Um, and so I've been doing this about four years now. I've, I have not seen any situations where both citations end up um, sticking. Um, it, vary, it varies on the situation. Um, but that being said, like I said, just be sure to go to that court date. Um, because that's the important thing. That's where if, 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 um, yeah, I was gonna say. Right now I'm just crossing off. Something's auto-populate in our computer system. And I'm just putting the yes for mandatory. Um, but yeah, just to emphasize the fact that yes, it's mandatory. You do have to go. Um, so just, again, don't worry about the fine amounts. Don't worry about the points going on your license. Focus specifically on that court date. Because then you'll be able to get to talk to the judge and he'll finalize everything. Then just double check that she has all the uh, paperwork there. So she should have three citations. The informing the accused and the yellow form on top there. Oh, and, and, that, and that too. See, it's easy to forget something when I'm talking about one. So. Perfect. So she has everything. That all to you. Then we'll take that out. To your mom. And then basically what you do out there is you read this to your mom. Um, you can get all the adder stuff and everything else from her. Okay. So that'll be it. Alright, so you can grab that stuff and okay. then you phone and you can have it by your mom and we'll try to pull this off when you're free to go. So I just have to have you fill out this paperwork. So I'm going to read this to you and then you'll have the initial here and sign. So, by signing below I recognize and confirm that I understand the following information. I hereby accept responsibility for the above named purpose, so that would be a person, that would be Haley. I understand this person has been arrested for operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of an intoxicant. I am neither intoxicated nor under the influence of any drug or alcohol at this time. And I further state that I will not permit the under undersigned person to operate any vehicle for a period of 12 hours from the time of his or her release to me. So she cannot drive or operate a vehicle for 12 hours. So that's just, this is just stating that you're going to make sure she doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you could initial here, and then I just need your information down there. Okay. Oh, guys, is that, so what is this so that's you the, your name, full name. Okay. No worries. I, I need um, readers, but I don't have that. And then your date of birth. And then your address. You have your phone? Uh, yeah. And you have your ID? Yeah. Excellent. And then just your phone number on to the side there. Perfect. Alright. Just a signature on the bottom there. And then oh. just right down here, right below where she signs. Mm -hmm. It was running the whole time. Mom, um, it, it, it um, has no. to stay running. Oh, with all the electronics. And then date. That, that operate under it? Otherwise, About 15th. It'll, it'll just 7, 15, 23. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of wild. Yeah. But Here, I have another one. If you, it's probably because yeah. you're against a cold wall. A, a lot of use, but with very low miles. Don't play. 24. Yeah. There you go. All right. <laughs> Like, what's the date today? <laughs> Are you parked up in this I'm right around the, the corner? corner? Because I was like trying to figure out. Like, yeah, it's kind of a weird. And I was like, what? In the UW? Oh, I was looking for like the like it's on high street, but no, it's not. What do you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, UW, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, anyways, I parked right back here. Okay, perfect. perfect. She, has okay. A, she has a bunch of paperwork uh, from tonight okay. as well. And then. I have yeah. your wallet and all your stuff too. Perfect. perfect. But perfect. Otherwise, do, you, do you have any questions? Uh -huh. All right, you are free to World go. Roll reader over. Thank you so yep, much. Yep, no Thanks. problem. Sorry.